Hello and welcome to Truly Pink. My name is Bree, and we're going to go ahead and get into the video. So today, this video is about the outline of a illustration. So with that being said, I am going to show you all how I illustrate my cartoons from the face first. We're always going to start with the face and then we're going to go to the body. Today, we're actually not doing a body. We are more so focused on the facial features today. So let's get started. Let's get into the materials that we're going to need for this actual video. So we're going to need an actual pencil. Okay. Now for me, I like to use an illustration pencil, which is read by Master's Touch. I got it from Hobby Lobby. Since I work with grayscale paper or tan paper, I like to use something of color to get rid of that gray look when it comes to my outline. So I don't have to use one of these to get rid of anything. I, the red just blends in with all my colors. Now, if you do not have a illustration pencil, that is fine. A regular mechanical pencil or a regular graphite pencil will work just fine. This is a HB. This is a regular mechanical pencil. And then we have a illustration pencil. So either one would work fine to lighting your drawing up with. If you're using a darker pencil, you're just going to have to use this when you go ahead and need to color things in to get rid of that hard, dark color. To get rid of that hard, dark pencil. Now, let's get into the actual drawing. So, this is what we're working with. We're going to do a face first drawing and here is the head. I start with a circle. You can start with any shape. Sometimes I make them out of squares, ovals, hearts, whatever. It just depends on the look you're going for and how comfortable you are with drawing faces when it comes to the illustration part. So, here we are, we have our full circle. And the circle doesn't have to be perfect because you gotta remember, heads are not actually perfect, they're not actually a full circle. Like a full perfect circle, so. And it just doesn't have to be perfect. Now, what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna take this line in the middle And do this. Right? And then we're actually, I like to do a curved line coming around the circle. So that way we know it is round and we kind of not like working on something that's flat. And then we give it a little bit. And then we're going to come down, and this is where the nose area will be. So, this is the basic guidelines. So your ears are going to fall, like, about right here. Right? This is the skull, your ear, here, and then for cartoons, it's different. So, um, it just varies how you want your cartoon done. But, yeah. So... Now it is time. All right. Now it is time to draw. The the eyes are going to stop like right here, right? This is like the bottom of the eye, and remember we're drawing face forward. So I like to give it. For me, I'm going to make some big old eyes. And this is where my eyebrows are going to go. Let's make some big old eyeballs. And then let's make a big 
big old eyeball this way. the fun part let's get that nose in here now we're going to add some detail after we're finished drawing the uh, basic sculpt of the nose so now that I drew the nose I know where my ears is going to be so at the middle of the ear I mean the middle of the eyeball in this line right here right that's why we got this line in place that's where the ear is going to start and then at the bottom of at the tip of the nose let's go ahead and make that into a circle I'm going to do the same thing into the other side Now, this is just how I do it. And let's kind of go, let's start making this chin area, right? And kind of bring this down here. And then I want to give him like an extra little oomph on the chin. So I'm going to give him that. We don't have to make it straight. Right, we gave them a little extra chin there. Now, let's get into how we want the mouth to look. The mouth can be one of these, like the basic, and you know, basic look. And then, or we can do one of um, one of these, like a, ah. You know, I make a lot of my illustrations with uh, one of these, so I like them to have them smiling, and I just put teeth here and have them smiling, right? Or Today, we're just going to do the plain lip. And if you do not know how to draw lips, here's the simplest way. Let's put a line here, a U. Okay, let's match that up with that line, a U. Then we're going to curve this part right here, curve this part right here. And then we're going to bring down the lip. That's about like right here. And now we're just going to put another U here to kind of distinguish it a little bit so it all doesn't look so uniform, you know? Right? Boom. Closed mouth, closed lips. I think we're pretty good on that area. Now, for all my characters, for all my male characters, I like to give them a very crispy hairline. You don't have to do yours like this, because I'd like to work with like curly hair and afros, really. Then now, I could start the hair from right here, but I'm kind of going to give it right here. So it's going to be like a matted afro type thing, but yeah, matted afro type thing. 
not necessarily curly but definitely uh, matted so it doesn't and it nothing has to be uniform right and now we can take away what we do not need so we don't need this we don't need this either and we don't need the line that's coming into the face at all and after this part we're going to be adding in some details to kind of give him his own look Now this is for me like a basic structure. It's nothing too crazy. Um, I feel like this is a good guide for anybody to follow. You don't have to make your cartoons like mine. Um, but. All right. So now. Let's give him some eyebrows. I like to add like some human look to him and not give him just some straight eyebrows like the one of those we're not doing that yep and then we're going to give them some eyelids Now, I do not put any eyelashes on the men at all. At all. For me, it just doesn't look good at all. And then, you want to hit them with... Let's kind of... Make it a little bit more... Something like this. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. And then this one a little bit bigger. All right? No eyelashes or anything like that. Make sure you keep us. Now we're going to add some detail into the nose area. We're going to do this here and put a little circle there. To give it some detail. Now for the nose, this typical nose, you can do something like this. Right? We don't have to come up here and do all that. We can, but we're on this one. We're not going to, because on a later video, I'm going to color this in to show you how I do my realistic type of color when it comes to these characters. Now for the ears, I like to add a realistic feature like this. We all have that little nibble, little thing that we have beside our ears. And don't connect it because it's gonna look it's not gonna look so good now it's time to do this and give them some definition in the ear you know I don't know why all oh, that one's always there we go you know that layer that we all have in there and then we you can go as far as doing this you know Coming over here a little bit, you know, give it a little bit more definition. And then, if we don't want to make this like an adult or like a kid, or I mean, adult or whatever, like you want to make it like an in between, the smaller the neck, the more kid like, the bigger the neck, the older. So, we're going to give it a medium sized neck. Mm 
Now, I know some cartoons are funny looking. You know, sometimes I make mine with a small neck and they're grown people. Um, that's fine, too. It just depends on, you know, the person. Uh, gave them my Adam's apple. And now, we're going to give them a little, I like, sometimes I like to add some hair. You know, to make them their own character. And not somebody that I just keep drawing. We gave a little bit of hair. Now, usually, I draw really big earrings on my characters so when I illustrate. But we're not going to do that today because, yeah, we're just doing the basics. And this is how I do my illustration. And so I start off, um, no matter if the eyeballs are square or a triangle or whatever, whatever shape you can definitely make into a cartoon. So that is it for this video today. In the next video, I will be coloring in this character. I'm going to give them a little bit more detail right here. And more right here. gives it a little bit of better look to it um in the next video i will be showing y'all how i color this um using the prismacolor um um i forgot what set this is but the prismacolor set the soft core portrait set it's a portrait set so i'll be using the portrait set to color this in so with that being said, thank y'all so much for tuning in to Chili Pink with Bree. And stay tuned for the next video. If you do like content like this one, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And if you did like this video today, go ahead and give that video a thumbs up. And thank you, thank you so much for tuning in to Chili Pink. And I will see you all next time. Thank you so much. Oh, and down below, don't hesitate to ask me any questions about anything that you feel like you need answered i will surely get back to you and create a video on that so thank you all for tuning in to truly pink and i will see you all in the next video